think that I was just, yeah, living in this shame, living in all this sort of stuff of my past, and I wasn't able to move on. Do you think the person that, you, the you of then, was on a path of self-destruction? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I would have, for sure, 100%, yeah. It would have been no bono. It was bad. I don't know if I'd be alive, for sure. It was dark. But I want to definitely tell my story so that if, if that resonates to anybody, that they can uh, hopefully learn from it. Well, for me, you know, music comes from somewhere. Right. Maybe it comes from this youthful naivety and this desire to escape something. Uh -huh. And then you get out there in front of the world and then it comes from a place of wanting more of it. Yeah. I mean, just think about how young I was and so impressionable. And you have everybody telling me how good, how awesome I am at all times, you know? And like, I just want people to understand like the psychology behind why I potentially could have problems in my life. So yeah, thank you for being here and helping me tell that story. Um, but yeah, just protecting those moments because people take for granted uh, encounters and um, I just want to protect her, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. Yeah, if she ever needs me, I'm, I'm just a call away. Do you realize how important the story is? Every time I have a conversation with someone who's been through this unique type of experience, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm searching for some kind of truth that can help. I commend you for going there and uh, asking the tough questions and the things that people don't want to talk about and they don't want to go there because it's just it's revealing and it's. I want people to take a look at my story and hopefully my words can, can make a difference.